citizens of the reject nation last night i couldn't sleep and this is true this is actually a fact john do you have your phone i will jump cut to this okay what do we got you have the youtube app we share the same account yeah let's go on it go to the youtube history okay do you know how to access the YouTube history? Oh, yeah, 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 of course. <laughs> Not that history. This history where you go to the history. Wait. Of videos that were they watched. They moved it. Where did they move it to? John oh, no, is it's right, right there. Duh. <laughs> it's, it's early. <laughs> Just keep what going. What do we got? What do we keep got? Keep going. We got Look what I was stuff. watching last night. Kingdom. What? Stop God. right oh, there. Oh. Look at that. Ryan Gosling, funniest moments. Ryan Gosling crashes Russell Crowe interview. There are five Ryan Gosling videos. When Ryan Gosling At basically won least, something. Yes, because I needed to get my mind into a better place, so I just started watching some Ryan Gosling videos. Little did I know a trailer would be prepare, preparing today for a film I have never heard of <laughs> that stars <laughs> Ryan Gosling. And apparently it's a good trailer. Yeah, the, the Gosling signal is high in the sky. It's our duty to check it out. If you are a true fan, you, you're here. I'm excited, man. I'm excited. I don't know how this guy can be a dad and work <sighs> this much and be so emotionally in tune with himself. He probably needs a lot of help. He does. He probably he needs a shoulder gets to lean on and ear to listen. The best uh, John, but just let me do it. Jeez. I've learned how to listen from better help, but I don't have the time right now. I'm gonna use that promo code you, myself to, learn to how talk to, about this yeah, experience. Better, right yeah. now. <laughs> <laughs> Get this off my chest. Learn how to communicate better in the workplace. <laughs> We'll talk more about them after. Thanks for sponsoring this video. In three, two, one. Whoa. Emily back. Blunt. Back driving. <gasps> Ooh. <laughs> no Winston Duke? Yeah. <laughs> Anyone but him. I didn't approve him. You know that. Why? You are literally the last person on earth I want to see. Why? It slapped the shit out of you. I really could. And I'm open to that in a safer environment. Ah, oh my I can't god. Resist. He has the best chemistry with all women. <laughs> no phone call, no text. Look at that oh, hair. I didn't want to apologize. You don't have to explain anything. It was just a flame. Uh oh. What have you done? <laughs> that thumbs up stunt guy stuff. I'm the director. We're gonna set this man on fire. You're a stunt guy. Man on Ooh, fire. Super profesh. Profesh is my middle name. You said your middle name was Danger. <laughs> well, it's visually really awesome. Yeah. <laughs> really? Yeah. Holster that. Yeah, it's holstered. It's done. Forget. You you never saw it. Oh my god, oh that my jumpsuit. God. David Leach! Tom Ryder. Let's go. Eric Taylor, Taylor Johnson. Johnson. Linda. Bullet Rider. train. Listen, you need to bring him back. Oh. Jody's movie is dead. Why me? You're a stuntman. Nobody's gonna notice you. That's your job. Oh no, shit, Hannah wanting him too. So I'm taking. I love the variety of looks here. Save yeah. Jody's film. You get the love of your life back. I'm not the hero. I'm just the double. Not today, you're not. Oh, I've always wanted to see a movie about the stuntman being the action hero lead. This is I've this really is the exact that, movie pal. for you. <laughs> yep. <laughs> Need that keyless entry, boy. Oh, oh my God. Dead body on ice. He was so dead, Gail. Whoa. He was super dead. <laughs> I told you about my dead dad. Super dead. <laughs> oh, right, guys. There's so many comedies now. I had no choice. I had to do some Jason Bourne shit. <laughs> Up, man, becomes the action here. And not in a fun way. You can make it, you can make it. You can't make it. It's too dangerous. Uh, gotta be stairs. Gotta be stairs. Go. Oh. What happened to your face? You look terrible. You look amazing. <laughs> you both look amazing. How far would you go for the one that you love? I love the versatility of all the looks of this. Engage your core. Yeah, I bet they're gonna be a lot of fun, different movie scenarios. 
Wanna go to a beach somewhere? Drink a spicy margarita! Make some bad decisions! Yes! Oh, oh wow! Ooh! That's right. Get crunk, dog. This looks like Ryan Gosling incarnate. Yeah! It's a combination of <laughs> drive, place beyond the pines, Ken, nice guys roll. Whatever that movie he did with Chris Evans that was on Netflix. That was great, was man. A great man. Great man. Yeah. I probably forgot what that was called. A little bit of crazy, stupid <laughs> love. A, a bit, but that guy's a little bit, um, you know, th this guy seems more of like the down on his luck kind of fella who doesn't get the recognition where that guy's like top dog alpha. Sure, yeah, sure, sure. Yeah. But, you know, there's the romantic element. There's the romantic comedy That's every element. Ryan Gosling movie. But there's this is a romantic comedy element. He's got the best chemistry with all women. All of them. Guy like that with so much heartbreak in his life. Yeah. <laughs> Lord knows he needs to consult someone once in a while when mm -hmm. dealing with this stuff. Hey, John, I like the wardrobe changes in this video. You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to change my wardrobe really fast and emulate a more sincere tone as I talk about better help today so guys i want to share more thoughts on this trailer because i got some thoughts that i want to share and i'm sure john has thoughts he wants to share too john do you mind evacuating here for a second <laughs> sure i think i should do this solo just like a therapy session <laughs> yep yep absolutely <laughs> couple section next week <laughs> Today's episode is sponsored by BetterHelp. I know that we often joke around here quite a bit on the channel, but I wanted to speak a little bit more sincere during this specific sponsor. And I'll start off by saying this, that, you know, with any sponsor, they usually give, like, suggested things to consider uh, when talking about the sponsor. And one of their suggested things was, was a question that they had there that went along the lines of like, have you ever laid awake with your thoughts racing, wishing for a moment of silence? And I thought to myself, well, the, yeah, that's my secret cap. <laughs> I, I know that feeling way too well. And it's in those quiet moments where you're battling your own mind, where you are seeking clarity the most. And you may have heard me talk about this on the channel before. The better part of a decade now, therapy has undoubtedly been one of my main anchors. Before there was ever the real rejects, I was diagnosed with PTSD, type 2 bipolar, and ADHD. So uh, needless to say, I needed some therapy. And through its guidance, I've unearthed deeper layers of myself, cultivated richer relationships, and just have a more profound understanding of my emotions. And one of the best parts about it is it's given me a space where it's free from judgment, where I've found my voice and learned the art of truly listening, not just to others, but also to myself. And I've talked a little bit about how this year I've focused a lot more on my physical health and hitting the gym a little bit more often. And in all sincerity, I do view therapy as like the a gym for your mental health, a place where you can really nurture your mental well-being. And it is an experience that has been quite transformative so much to the point that, you know, I would say at least half of the people that you see that come here on the channel are in therapy. As a matter of fact, I know one of them, their therapist is with better help. I often joke that like I've been in therapy since it was underground. <laughs> Why I joke like that is because I, I see now in the past few years, a lot more people have been going to therapy, which is fantastic. I love seeing that. So I will say that if in your heart, if you have been seeking therapy or contemplating going to therapy, I highly encourage you, I urge you to consider better help. Before I ever saw some ad for better help, I had heard other people who had been with better help and had really given strong in-person testimonies to me. Their online platform is crafted with care, keeping your comfort in mind, starting it as simple as answering a few questions. And really important to remember, it's a journey. And I really love this because I've had uh, at least like three therapists in my life. So if you ever feel the need to change your therapist, BetterHelp understands and allows it without any fuss. Trust me, that's a massive benefit. So for a journey of self-discovery and mental well-being, turn to BetterHelp. Embark on this heartfelt voyage at betterhelp.com. That's H-E-L-P.com slash sing and embrace 10% off your first month. Genuinely, thank you to BetterHelp for sponsoring this video. All right, I'm back, John. You're oh, back. Good. We're all back. Yeah. Thank you guys. You know, signing up for BetterHelp uh, using our link that also does help with, um, you know, bettering yourself, bettering yourself, and, and, and then bettering the, the channel. channel and yeah. they know, and that's just awesome. But mainly, look out for yourself. Uh, yeah, I like. I really, I really love this trailer a lot. Like, this just looks like a genuine classic fun time, 
And David Leach it, coming onto the scene with John Wick, which that first one had some of the most humor out of the four films that came out. Yeah. And I think that when he left to direct his own movies, he said, I want to do the comedy side. Yes. And then Chad yeah. Stahelski's like, I'm going to do the like dark cinephile side. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I'm going to keep this going. You do your Hobbs and Shaw and your bullet train <laughs> and your Deadpool. I'm going to play to the film students. You catch the cineplex, <laughs> yeah. the, the megaplex. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And this looks like he's it, it seems like it's taken a while because i like i like bullet train i think we both like bullet train yeah. uh and even though this is just a trailer there's something about this that does seem that perhaps this could be his sharpest most confident one of them all like i love the versatility to it it the other movies have always at least even just from the marketing standpoint have reminded me of other works mm. and this seems like oh there's a there's, there's a, a voice of his own attached to this one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Where I wouldn't really say that with the other films. Like, you can liken this to others. There's even a, a film back in the day called The Stuntman, and while I can <laughs> liken Ryan Goss, like, like writing-wise and story-wise, but visual-wise, and even the comedic sensibilities of this all. Like, I, I really loved um, just the production design all around. I feel like the action will be really cool. I love this kind of main character you get a root for as well. Like I, I, I used to want to, I, I had the idea for it. What, remember that Mission Impossible MTV sketch, the Tom Cruise one with Ben Stiller replaced yes. them? Like that's when I thought of that idea of, yeah. of there should be a movie where like the... Well, I remember you mentioning this. My idea, I'll just say it now, even though this is not the plot here. Um, <laughs> and now, this is my way of copywriting the idea is putting out at the public <laughs> for yes. anyone to think was that the stunt man and the action hero are very close with each other. Like he's always his stunt double. Cause that's usually how a lot of these relationships work with leading man and stunt double. What an irony sense, because you know that Ryan Gosling had a stunt double for doing these stunts. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> but, but what would happen in my movie is that the action hero would get kidnapped, like a celebrity kidnapping, and the stunt man would rise to the occasion to go save him. So he finds himself in like a real life action movie, having to go yeah. save him. And you see that he's the real hero, yeah. the hero that doesn't get all the credit on screen. Yeah. So that was my my idea. That, and that's not exactly what this is at all. <laughs> actually. Sure, sure. Um, but regardless, I, I I have been drawn to like it should do an action comedy where the stuntman is the lead, yeah. and that is what we were getting here. And I think Ryan Gosling looks uh, excellent and. Sorry, John. I've just been in therapy, so I'm in a real talkative mood it's right, right now. You gotta get it all out there. <laughs> yeah. get what it did all you out, think? Make the most of the time. No, I enjoyed this trailer too. I feel like this is the kind of movie that that could go one of two ways, in that it does look like the most distinct David Leach movie trailer. Because yeah, like other of his movies have you know hearkened to other directors and things like that it's like you know atomic blonde harkens to certain other things or uh bullet train harkens like guy Ritchie. yeah you know whereas this i feel like certainly seems like an opportunity for him to prove what his signature blend of action comedy and scope would be i could see that if this doesn't go quite right it being maybe a tonal mess uh if it doesn't click together but i think it has enough assets to its name and david leach is solid enough director who i think has learned each time around uh enough that it gives me confidence that this will turn out to be as as fun as it looks because too you know like not this isn't going for the broadness of tone necessarily that, that like a tropic thunder is but it seems to present a similar kind of fun prospect of we're gonna get a lot of behind the scenes sort of in the know filmmaking style ribbing of the process but also the blurring of the lines between, you know, the real world versus, you know, like r movie style stakes becoming real world and things like that. And you have like so many different people on this cast and you have what looks to be one main sort of in movie universe movie, but also the potential for, you know, many others i think presents itself as well which sure. is always a fun thing for me is seeing like what you know there there could easily be a montage of like all the different stunts and and movies this guy's yeah. done and all the different roles he's had to take and stuff because he's like mainly the one we see is him as this like futuristic space you know cowboy type thing like cowboys versus aliens kind of character or something like that 
Um, and so, yeah, like this looks really fun and like it could be uh, David Leach's opportunity to play to the film students, but in that fun popcorn kind of sensibility because you're able to bring in such a wide swath of references and influences. Yeah, for something like this. I totally agree. And, you know, not to mention, too, it's. Emily Blunt is a phenomenal actress. Uh, I, I I hear arguments that sometimes sometimes I agree with it that she is probably the best actor working today. Um, you know, like I'm not saying she is like the greatest of all time. I think she was one of the greatest though. Like she can do any genre. She can be. A, it's even looking at an action movie. She could be a badass lead action hero like in Edge of Tomorrow, and then be this character you know? sure. <laughs> who is the uh, who is not the action hero but still like a, a leader on set i hope that her talents are utilized well um i love seeing ryan gosling pair up with whatever leading actress he's pairing up with because his odds of generating great chemistry with them are always very very high uh, i think he knows how to connect with actresses extremely well because i think they want to connect with him and who does <laughs> I, I would man i would totally leave my wife for ryan gosling and and uh, Aaron Taylor Johnson as well, you know, after working on Bullet Train with him to come back here. And I feel like they, David Leach really gave him a character in Bullet Train that allowed him to uh, really stretch. And I think that getting some Aaron Taylor Johnson roles peppered in that show a lot more of his versatility before we see Craven, I think is an exciting prospect <laughs> for him in his career endeavors, you know. Yeah. Um, and, and I really like this trailer a lot. I thought this was a really fun looking trailer. The only real concern I have about it. It, if I'm being totally honest, is that I feel like it might be, uh, it might fall into the trap. Ha, fall. It might fall uh, into the trap of being excessive and way too fucking long. You know that because <laughs> that having that way more, more fun movie with movie itself does. than we yeah. are having with yes. it. Yeah. yeah, yeah. I think every David Leach movie has this problem where we go on for like way too long. Too, let's get that two forty five. Yeah, we're like, we don't need to be around this long, man. You're ruining the fun. <laughs> you Bring know? it in at a tight like, ninety but, hour forty five. I good, think bro. I think keeping this like just under two hours is totally totally fine. Like Aces. an hour fifty minute runtime. My concern is that when I go to buy tickets, it's going to say like two and a half hours. I'm like, Jesus Christ, David, <laughs> <You're> like, <laughs> dial it back. Cutting right? room floor, you love yourself guy. too much. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> that that is my one one concern. Um, but hey, what did you guys think about this trailer? Were you surprised? Did you think you were clicking on a video game trailer? Because that's what I thought it was at first yeah. when I saw the title. Like, here's Universal milking that Mario franchise, and now we're doing a completely different game. Oh no, this is <laughs> another not it at all. Guys. Yeah. Um, leave your thoughts down below. Uh, what did y'all think? Thank you to BetterHelp, and hey, we will catch you all on the flippity flip. See you guys.